you most likely know three things about Bill Gates. He is the founder of Microsoft, he used to be the richest man in the world, and he does some charity work. And you might have heard some of the conspiracy theories surrounding the tech billionaire. But did you know that he's obsessed with reinventing the toilet? Or that he goes on think weeks somewhere in a cabin in the woods? And do you know what the worst day in his life was? Find out everything you need to know about Superbrain Bill Gates in an all-new episode of Tech Titans. I don't ever give up. And, and I was human. I am human. You're going to see the future. Internet. Some internet. Tech Titans. William Henry Gates III was born on October the 28th, 1955 in Seattle, Washington. He grew up in a loving family together with his two sisters Christy and Libby. His father, William Gates II, served in World War II and then went on to become a successful lawyer. After meeting at the University of Washington, he married Mary Maxwell. Bill Gates' mother had a short teaching career and then stayed home with Bill and his sisters. But she was also a businesswoman and served on the boards of several organizations, just like her husband. By the way, Bill mainly thanks his mom for getting him interested in all kinds of things. His dad was a role model too, but Bill and his mother had a very close bond. Mary would take young Bill along to charity events or they would volunteer together. She always taught him the importance of giving back to society, a lesson Gates clearly took to heart. Together with his wife Melinda, he spends millions on charity projects through their foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Mary would be proud of him. Gates' mother passed away from breast cancer in 1994. It was the worst day in his life, Gates said. In school, Gates was different than his fellow classmates. His brain worked much faster, especially math was easy for the introverted boy. In grade 8, Gates got the highest score in the statewide math test. And not just among all 8th graders, but among all students up to grade 12. This is how he met Paul Allen. He went to the same high school as Gates, but was two years older. Alan heard of Gates' test results and was impressed. Both were fascinated by computers and spent hours testing their programming skills in the school's computer lab. Together they wrote a student scheduling program for their school and a payroll program for a company. After high school, Bill Gates went to Harvard University to study math. But Paul Allen ultimately convinced him to drop out and in 1975 they founded Microsoft in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as we all know, Microsoft was and is a major success story and turned Gates into the richest man in the world. Until Amazon founder and CEO Jeff Bezos earned the title in 2017. But Gates and Allen soon started arguing a lot. Allen left Microsoft in 1982, also for health reasons, but remained on the board of directors. Paul Allen, Gates' lifelong friend and most important partner, died from cancer in 2018. By the way, Bill Gates says that if Microsoft hadn't worked out, he probably would have become a researcher in artificial intelligence, something that really interests him. But he's also concerned that superintelligence might be a danger to mankind. At Microsoft, Gates met another very important person in his life, his wife Melinda. After finishing her degrees in economics and computer science, Melinda was hired by Microsoft in 1987. She was only 22 years old, Bill was 30. The two met at an event and soon started dating. They got married in a secret wedding in Hawaii in 1994. They have two daughters and a son. By the way, when Bill asked Melinda for a date, he asked if she was free two weeks from Friday. She just laughed and said that wasn't spontaneous enough for her. When he called her just a few hours later at home and said, is this spontaneous enough for you? I guess it was. At Microsoft, Gates soon transitioned from software programmer to manager and executive. In 2014, he stepped down as a chairman to focus on his charity work instead. And that's what keeps him busy until this day, saving the world. And that's not even an exaggeration. Gates wouldn't be Gates if his goals weren't big. After reading a New York Times article about African children dying from diarrhea, he became obsessed with reinventing the toilet so that these deaths could be prevented. 
In 2018, at the reinvented Toilet Expo in Beijing, he presented a promising model and carried a jar of human feces with him. Another goal of his is to completely eradicate polio, a disease that only exists in Afghanistan, Pakistan and Nigeria today. Okay, maybe you knew some or even most of these facts about Bill Gates, but here are three things about the tech billionaire that you might not know. Not a big surprise here, but Gates reads a lot and fast. He can read 150 pages per hour. And he is not just jumping from word to word, he can actually absorb and store all of the information. Reading is his main source of knowledge and a way to test his understanding, he says. He reads about 50 books a year. And already as a kid, he loved to read. During his teenage years, he read the whole World Book Encyclopedia. And Gates is a proud nerd. He once said, be nice to nerds. Chances are, you'll end up working for one. In the 1980s, he started going for Think Weeks. He would go spend a week in a little cabin in the woods, somewhere remote. And then he would just do that. Think. He even compares his brain to a computer, a CPU or central processing unit. And whenever he needs to solve a problem, he first reads, then talks to experts, and then he thinks until he finds a solution. Gates' brain is his most valuable possession. His biggest fear is that his brain will stop working. When we talk about Gates, we gotta talk about money. For many years, Gates was listed as the richest man in the world, until Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos came along. Now Gates is only the second richest man. And like I said before, most of his money goes to philanthropy these days. But he also enjoys a few things like flying in his own plane, which he bought in 1997. He also has a little Porsche collection and paid almost $31 million for a collection of writings by Leonardo da Vinci. You would think that his children will be inheriting a lot of money, but Gates decided that each of them will only get $10 million. He says that leaving children a lot of money doesn't do them any favor. Depends how you define a lot, I guess. For some of us, $10 million doesn't sound too bad. Bill Gates is known for his wealth, his success and his amazing brain. But sometimes his name can be found in some bizarre headlines. Recently, some COVID-19 conspiracy theories targeted Gates. Here's what's true. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation have donated millions to help find a COVID vaccine and to help with the treatment of patients. He is what some people believe. Gates wants to find a vaccine to secretly implant microchips and tracking devices into people. A video that claims just that has been watched over 200 million times on YouTube. A tweet quoted Gates, saying a possible vaccine would kill at least 700,000 people. He never said that, of course. Some claim that Bill and Melinda Gates started testing a vaccine in India and are now after killing and injuring many people, awaiting trial. And others believe he even created the virus. Some theories have been around for a while. Bill Gates is the secret leader of a global elite that rules the world. Others believe he wants to depopulate the world. Bill Gates has been targeted before. When he tried to eradicate polio in Nigeria and sent teams to vaccinate people, some people believed that his vaccine was an attempt by the West to sterilize people in Africa. It's not easy being Bill Gates. What do you think about the tech titan? Let us know in the comments. And if you like what we do, make sure to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.